Hi everyone and welcome to Research Methods. This week we're going to be getting our feet wet. So we're going to go over some important aspects of the class structure and we're going to have an online discussion about research. This video is going to do the first part. There are a few things that I want to draw your attention to regarding the syllabus and the course schedule. So for the most part, we're going to have a new topic each week. I'll be posting um, content on Monday mornings, usually to the course blog, um, but occasionally I will post podcasts within D2L. There's always going to be either a question or an activity to get us started. You'll be required to post your responses and your completion of that by Wednesday night. Then by Saturday nights, you'll need to respond to at least two of your peers' posts. This may work a little differently on weeks when we have a group activity for your research group, but I think that it'll be the rough idea will probably stand. These online discussions are modeled after a conversation or a discussion. I'm not going to respond to each post because I want to facilitate rather than dominate the discussion. I do read all of the posts and I will answer content related questions through the forums and I'll also occasionally be posing questions to the forums to, dis to guide the discussion in particular directions. Now, it's important to save your notes and contributions to the weekly activities um, and also any um, responses and comments that you get from me. The weekly discussions and those act and activities are intended to be important prep for the assignments and activities that come later. So this is a really big important point about research. For the most part, good research of the kind we're t talking about um, takes a long time to do. It's a dynamic process, so it's not something that you can do overnight with a can of jolt. Um, and you probably can't even do it over a weekend. Um, it's also important to keep in mind in terms of success in this particular class. So if you look ahead, you'll see that November and early December look very busy. We have a lot of assignments coming up. But if you save your earlier work and my comments, you're just going to be finishing up and turning in things that you've been working on for a while rather than running yourself ragged. Um, I also want to draw your attention to my late policy. All students have a late bank of four days that they can apply to the individual assignments. You don't need to email me um, if you're going to use your bank. Just go ahead and submit your work when you want to. Make sure that you manage your bank of, of days wisely. Once it's gone, I'm not particularly lenient except in rare extenuating circumstances. When the bank is up, I deduct 10% per day, capped at 50%. So you can always submit your work for half credit, even if weeks and weeks have gone by. Um, I also prefer students to submit their work as a PDF. I like to grade on my iPad so that I can literally write on your assignment and then I'll email you my annotations. But I can only do that if you send me the work as a PDF. I don't have specific office hours but I am always available to meet with you or your research group as a whole by appointment. Um, I strongly encourage students to do this. I use Skype, it's pretty straightforward. It's a free piece of software that you can use. Um, I've had really good success also using vi uh, group video conferences with Google+. Um, they have a Hangout feature that allows um, several video functions, which Skype, um, you can do a conference call, but you can't do the video. So I highly recommend Google Plus for your research group project. Um, I think that covers the basics. Please take time to carefully review the syllabus and schedule. I'm very happy to answer questions now about their content in our administrative forum. So please, um, and also please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. Your emails and questions are really important to me, and I usually respond to them within 24 hours or so. That means that if you haven't heard back from me, please do shoot me an email, an um, email reminder. It's likely that my email just remind, that your email was eaten by my inbox, and I'm just going to be grateful to get another email. One more thing. Um, I do want to remind you this week to please post um, an introduction to the greetings forum and also to post some topics that you might be interested in researching um, for a research group to the research interest forum. 
Mets should be right um, around the greetings um, greetings form in D2L. Um, and the main thing that I'm going to be looking for here is just some sort of broad strokes in common. Um, I'm a, I apologize. I, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to give everybody exactly the topic that they want, but I will do my best to find, to have everyone in a group that's going to be researching a topic that someone, that everyone is at least marginally interested in. Um, we'll see. I'll do my best. We'll see how it goes, depending on what your interests are.